I was saddened and shocked to hear about the Francis Scott Key Bridge and see all that happened there. My heart is with all the victims. I am very saddened by this and much love to the city of Baltimore. State DOT Madness Final Four. Yeah! All right, we are down to the final four of State DOT March Madness. So we are going to talk about the teams that are in it along with what else we've got going on here. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places they're assigned to go to. If you dig this kind of content, why not give us a like? And if you really like it, why not subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. We've also got a Patreon going. You can make a state shout out. We've only got four states left. You can also make requests on upcoming videos, such as the I-520 video for a tradition unlike any other. Yes, the Masters. And for Route 66. You can also make your exit request the old-fashioned way with a $5 or more super like, super thanks, with any comments on YouTube. Thanks for those of you who have. We started out with Todd Ranks the State DOTs in order to figure out our seating and whatnot for this tournament. And then I laid out how this whole tournament will go. You can check that out there, where I talk about how all this seating happened. Then we had round two where the big dogs came in, and right there is where you can check that out if you haven't seen that one yet. And we also had the third round, the Sweet 16 video, which you can check out right over here if you want to check out what's happening there. All right, first I'm going to talk about round three results. I already released this in a short earlier this week, but it is worth talking about again. All right, let me get into sportscaster mode once again. <laughs> Here we go. Let's take a look at the South region and the results from the Sweet 16. We had Arizona in a tough battle with Ohio, but Arizona was able to prevail without too much trouble. South Carolina took on Georgia and upset them. South Carolina was the three seed coming in and favored, maybe, but South Carolina was able to do the job. Let's take a look at the Midwest region. In the Midwest, I was a little surprised at this. This was a lot more even on the Patreon. I thought Nevada had a chance here, but Indiana ended up taking Nevada to the woodshed. North Dakota as a two seed and as the highest ranked two seed had no trouble beating Montana. Let's take a look at the East region results. And Tennessee, whoa. Tennessee is big time believing here with maybe the biggest beating of the day taking out Virginia. Virginia really never had a chance in this one. And South Dakota was able to edge out Oklahoma by slightly less than 200 votes, which actually ended up being one of the closer ones, and another three seed upsetting a two seed. Now let's look at the West region results. And in the Sweet 16 in the West region, Utah defends its home turf and crushes Kentucky pretty easily here. Michigan and Arkansas, what seemed to be a close matchup on paper, ended up being Michigan doubling up on Arkansas here. And here is a look at the bracket as it stands going into the Elite Eight. We've got Arizona playing South Carolina, a one seed and a three seed. Indiana will take on North Dakota in a true Midwest battle for the Midwest Regional Championship. Tennessee will face South Dakota in the east. I know South Dakota isn't particularly east, but it's east of some places. And finally, Michigan will take on Utah in the west. Uh, Michigan, I guess, part of the old Northwest Territories. So, hey, that's good enough for now. All right, so we had Elite Eight voting this week in a midweek thing, and we had quite a few people voting considering there was only 24 hours of voting and it was during an unusual time. So thank you for those of you who voted. Let's take a look at the Elite Eight results and see who will be making it to the final four. In the South region, Arizona beats South Carolina, 373 votes to 135. A few people did say South Carolina would have had a good chance to beat Tennessee, and I feel like that is true, but they end up playing who they're seated against, just like in the real basketball tournament. Certainly Kansas would have beaten somebody besides Gonzaga. Nah, I'm kidding, we would have lost anybody. But seeding does affect this, of course. And I want to give a shout out to C for Cat, who wanted to do a state shout out for South Carolina, 
because he used to live there and his home interstate goes through there now. And sorry your team didn't quite make it this time. Arizona is a force. In a slightly closer match, Indiana was able to take out North Dakota. Indiana was the lowest overall rated number one seed and North Dakota was the highest rated two seed and both of them were number one S tier states in Todd ranks the state DOTs, Indiana in the Midwest and North Dakota in the Northwest. But Indiana seems to have more power than North Dakota rolling through here into the final four. In the biggest shellacking of the day, Tennessean remains ten to believe in as Tennessee crushes South Dakota, holding them to double digit votes, 360 to 69. Nice. And finally, Utah is able to take out Michigan in the West. I thought this one would be closer too. There was a lot of chatter for Michigan in the comments, but it seemed there were a lot of silent voters voting for Utah. And I do want to apologize to the Xavier456 for mispronouncing his name. He shouted out Michigan last week, and too bad Michigan didn't quite do it this time. So let's take a look at our final four as we go and at the whole bracket. So we see Arizona is the South region champion. They've had a very tough road going through Ohio and South Carolina, possibly the toughest road of anybody. Indiana is the winner for the Midwest region and they will be going to the final four to face Arizona. Indiana also had a pretty tough road with North Dakota and Nevada. Those were pretty well favored states. Hawaii, not so much, but that was second round. And we've got another state shout out for Missouri. They lost a while ago, but they were in the Midwest, which we were just talking about. And that state shout out goes to Alex the MTA and R211 weather fan. So thank you so much for that shout out. Tennessee has ran roughshod over the competition throughout this entire time, but they've also probably had the easiest road with Massachusetts, Virginia, and South Dakota. Tennessee able to make short work of all of them. And finally, Utah out west ended up not having that difficult of a road, playing a three seed in Michigan with Arkansas being upset, facing Kentucky, who was one of the lower four seeds, along with Connecticut, who never stood a chance. All right, as soon as you finish watching this video, it is your chance to vote. There will be polls on YouTube and Patreon. And as before, Patreon votes will count as double. Patreon members can also vote on YouTube to triple their votes. To look at the rest of the schedule, voting in this round will end tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. I'm moving it up a day so that I have a little more time. And I'll post a short actually a day earlier on 331, March 31st, that would be Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, announcing the final four semifinalist winners and the championship round. And this short round of voting, as I said, will start March 31st and will end on April 1st at 8 a.m. And on April 4th, the final four matches will be discussed and the ultimate winner will be announced and we'll also rank everything that we've done so far and on april 11th we've got i520 and april 18th route 66 yeah let's take a look at the almost complete bracket one last time and on next week's episode if i have time i will also announce the bracket winner for the state dot madness play at home game all right, that will wrap up this episode. So I'm excited to talk to you next week when our champion will finally be revealed. And of course, that champion will be entirely up to you. Thank you so much for watching this episode. My name is Todd, and until next time, keep on trucking.